Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. This video is for Core 4 Edexcel Maths and it's an introduction to partial fractions. As always, for more help with your um, math studies, do see the YouTube channel or Twitter or connect with me via uh, Google+. So to start with, um, we're going to do the first tutorial in our Core 4 series and it's an intro uh, to partial fractions as uh, arises in the Edexcel Core 3 but should be applicable to most maths A-levels. Um, and here's our spec here. The first chapter is all about algebra and functions and it's about partial fractions. In this video I won't get into the detail of uh, partial fractions but I will explain to you the big idea behind them and revise some techniques you need to understand. So talking about revision, let's start by adding algebraic fractions. This is a key idea which uh, I'm going to explain to you what partial fractions are all about. So here's an example, we're going to subtract these, adding or subtracting. So. You may want to pause the video, have a go yourself, and I'm going to go through now in a second. Now, the first things first is what I would do is I would uh, put a nice bracket on the denominator of both of these just to show the factors on the bottom, on the denominator. Then I would say that if I'm uh, subtracting these fractions, the denominators would, ne would need to be the same, and I would choose the denominator of the product of the two denominators. So that's what I would have on the bottom. This part here of the fraction, well it had a 2 there and uh, for it to have an x plus 1 on the bottom it needs to be multiplied by x plus 1. Keep your subtract. This one here, keep that. For this to have an x plus 3 in the bottom it must have been multiplied by x plus 3. And now all we need to do is expand the top very carefully making sure uh, we use uh, the distributive property of multiplication so this is 2x plus 2 and this here would be subtract x and subtract 3 all over x plus 3 x plus 1 and lastly now we should just tidy up the top and we would have our final answer so we have here just make sure we get this right 2x's take away an x which would just leave me with an x and here we have uh, po positive 2 or plus 2, subtract 3, so that would be uh, subtract 1 left over. And put a bracket around it, and we have x plus 3, x plus 1 left over. And that's our answer, simple as that. Okay, next example, slightly more difficult. There are three uh, different factors on the bottom, so you may want to pause the video have a go. I'm going to go through now. First thing I do, put a bracket around everything. Then I would decide what common denominator I need uh, to, in order to add these fractions. Well, the product of these three denominators will work out perfectly for us. That's the lowest common multiple of these factors. Now, we had a 3 here. This needs to be multiplied by this one and this one uh, to have this on the denominator. So we'll have an x plus 1, x subtract 3. Then we'll deal with the 2, so we have plus 2. It needs to be multiplied by this one and this one. So we have an x subtract 1, x subtract 3. And lastly, the 4, it would need to be multiplied by this one and this one. So we have x subtract 1, x plus 1. OK, now uh, the game is just expand the tops carefully. Probably going to need two stages for this. So keep your denominator x subtract 1, x plus 1, x subtract 3. Let's leave the 3 outside and let's just expand this bracket here. This would be x squared subtract 2x subtract 3 plus 2 and expanding this would be x squared subtract 4x plus 3 and expanding this bracket here it would be 4 and you should notice these are a difference of 2 squares so I'd get x squared subtract 1. Okay, uh, now we're going to multiply through by these factors here. So I have on the top 3x squared, subtract 6x, subtract 9, plus 2x squared, subtract 8x, plus 6, plus 4x squared, subtract 4. And all of this would be over the same denominator we had before. x subtract 1, x plus 1, x subtract 3. 
And lastly, let's just tidy up. Now, how many x squares do I have? 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 4 is 9 x squares. So I have 9 x squares here. Uh, how many x's do I have? Well, I have negative 6x, subtract another 8x, which is negative 14x. So I have subtract 14x. And lastly here, I have negative 9 plus 6, which is negative 3. Take away another 4, which would give me negative 7. All of that would be over x subtract 1, x plus 1, and x subtract 3. We should check if the top can be factorised. It turns out the top can't be factorised, and therefore that is as simple as this answer can be in example 2. Okay, so um, we've done a bit of core 3 revision there. Just want to show you um, what this is all about. Now, in the first example we did, we worked out this subtraction of algebraic fractions. We got that. Just to remind you, here was our answer. Now, this is the process, okay, going from uh, this to here is the process of like evaluating or simplifying, we usually call that. Now, actually, sometimes it's really useful to, when we start off, uh, we may start off with the com combined algebraic fraction and going back to splitting it up into uh, simpler terms this way is actually called uh, writing them as partial fractions. So going back from like our previous from our answers to what they were as uh, fractions added or subtracted is uh, the process of writing them as partial fractions. Now this is a really a useful process for two reasons we're going to find that in core four. The first, it's easier to do calculus on this side. So integration and differentiation are easier when it's written as partial fractions. And the second idea is that uh, this here, we can use these to write these as binomial expansions. It's easier to do the binomial expansion of two things like this than this big sort of combined monster over this side. And these things are useful to us in maths. So uh, the big idea here is actually this chapter is about going from uh, expressions, algebraic fractional expressions like this that have been combined and splitting them back into uh, a combination of fractions being added or subtracted. So uh, just to, to finish off then, read chapter one, pages one to three of the core four book and do exercise 1a on page three, all the questions just for some good revision. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found the video useful.